Hello New Zealand, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan, hope you had a great weekend. Well, the weather forecast this week, it is looking a little bit tricky once again, just like last week. We've got another area of low pressure, which is going to dominate northern areas, while in the South Island, you're going to see more in the way of high pressure. And it's these two systems that are sort of battling it out to try and see which is the most dominant. And at this stage, it is very hard to say which one is going to win out. It looks as though the high will eventually push away the low pressure, but it might take a few days. So this is the setup at the moment. Now there's not a lot of high pressure just yet. This is all low pressure, quite a large low. It's not a storm, it's just a very large area of low pressure, bringing in mild nor'westers or northerly winds for the North Island. And later on, you've got this colder change coming into the South Island, that same cold change pushing into Sydney now as well. So this is lunchtime Tuesday. That low that's in the Tasman is slowly being pushed northwards and east at the same time. It's sort of moving towards us, but it's going north because this big high is helping to guide it. And there's a southerly also on the South Island. It's all sort of pushing things northwards. There's another area of low pressure. So just like last week, you're seeing another big belt of low pressure to our north while it gets higher pressure to the south. And that encourages the winds coming in from the easterly quarter. So there's southerlies down here and they turn a bit more easterly as it runs into the bottom edge of that low. So by Wednesday, you can really sort of see the two different air pressure systems. You've got that big block of high pressure coming from Australia that's pushing in towards the southern half of the South Island, while in the northern half of the North Island, that area of low pressure sort of consolidating into one big low, and that will be pulling in subtropical northeasterlies for the upper North Island and potentially more rain. So it's a bit of an unusual start to winter this year in the sense that we're getting a lot of these subtropical rainmakers. So this big high is pushing through, so it could be pretty cold and maybe even a bit frosty in the south while the north is wet and subtropical. Let's go to Thursday and you can still see, look at this, this is all low pressure, one, two, three areas of low pressure. Now the positive about that is it stretches it all out, makes it less likely for it to be all in one spot, less likely to get the flooding and the, and the strong winds. But there is an area of strong winds and heavy rain, so we'll keep an eye on it as the week goes. It's what we like to say, it's one to watch. But look, further south, you're under high pressure and quite likely frosty conditions. If this is the setup later in the week between the high in the south and the lows in the north, this should be a fairly breezy easterly, which gets stronger the further north you go. Now towards the end of the week, Friday is looking like a little bit of low pressure to the north. The winds are tilting a little more southeasterly. It looks to me like the high from Australia is starting to roll in. And by the time we get to Saturday, there's a lot of high pressure out towards Australia. That's a positive. Coming in towards the weekend, it looks like a few showers lingering around, but also a fair bit of high pressure moving in. So it's not all doom and gloom, but the week ahead is another one that's just a little bit complicated. That's all from me. We'll update you again on Tuesday. <laughs>